Okay, you guys are here to question me. Are you guys on crack? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, what, what, is this your way of coming after me, Derek? This is police business, Jack. Oh, and you had to bring it here? Jack's daughter has been through a terrible ordeal. I mean, she almost died. I'm sorry about what happened. How's Brindley doing? Well, she'd be a lot better off if she didn't have to worry about the police harassing her father. I am not here to harass Jack. Well, then why don't you just show him a little respect? You know what? I, I thought you and Jack were on the outs. Well, you know what? No matter what's going on between Jack and me, he is still my daughter's uncle, and he is still my family. <sighs> Why don't you leave Jack alone? Oh, what are you doing on a bench? He had nothing to do with Michael Cammie's okay. murder. This has nothing to do with Jack. He was with me the night that Michael went AWOL. I had a meltdown, and it took him all night to talk me down. Really, sweetheart, you don't have to alibi me. I didn't do anything. Yeah, thank you, Greenlee, for the information, but we're interested in questioning Reggie, not Jack. Reggie, he's just a kid. Exactly. I mean, have you lost your mind? Have you no shame? First of all, you went after Kendall. Then you went after David and me. And now you want to blame Michael Hambius' murder on a child? I'm not a child. I'm just as capable as killing that guy as the next. Shush, shush, That's enough, Reggie. Look, he's barely old enough to shave. You really want to hang this crime on him? Well, you know what? This child already has a pretty nice rap sheet. And he's on probation for pulling a gun. No, no, which means like. he has a damn thing to do with this, Derek. Jack, he was implicated by a third party. And who would that be? We got this punk right now in custody downtown who's claiming that he sold a, a weapon, a, was it 38? To Reggie. Yeah, and the sale was the same night that Cambius went missing. So. You can see why we're interested in hearing what Reggie has to say. Reggie, go ahead and go with him. No, Jack. Nah, it's cool. It's all right. No the routine. Let's go, dogs. No, you mind if we stop by? I get something to eat. I'm kind of hungry, you know? I didn't eat all day. Can, can get some Jack, okay? come on. You think it was wise to let Reggie go off I with him by Reggie himself? I think Reggie can take care of himself until I get there. I do. I do. Right now, I want to get this one off her feet and back in bed where she belongs. I'll be right back. Come on, sweetheart. Dr. Mendes, Dr. Jerry Mendes, let's get this. Oh, thanks. Got it. No slippers. All right? Mm-hmm. Now listen, you. I want you to tell me something. Why did you lie for me out there? What was I supposed to do? I'm your daughter. Greenly, being my daughter does not mean that you have to lie for me. Well, you're so busy protecting everybody else. Somebody's got to get your back. Sweetheart, I don't need protecting, okay? <laughs> sure you don't. <laughs> my God, you're stubborn. I get it from my father. Really, I know you were just trying to help, but now we're left with a lie. I was at your place all night. End of story. No, you were not. You came to my office and I threw you out and I don't even recall being the least bit kind about it. I forgive you, so what's the problem? Honey, the problem is somebody might have seen us. And I must tell you, a lie at this point in time is only going to make matters worse. So arrest me. No, I don't want to arrest you. But I'd do it again if I had to. Greatly listen to me. I mean, I... I love you for putting yourself on the line for me. But let me tell you something. Having one kid haul downtown is more than enough for me on one day, okay? So please, no more lies. Just concentrate on getting well, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, I better get downtown before Derek tries to make mincemeat out of poor Reggie. <laughs> sure it's not the other way around. That's a very good point, indeed. Listen, you just try to rest until I get back, all right? Rest? I could die of boredom. Well, maybe I can fix that. Hang on a second. Erica, could you uh, come in here for just a minute, please? Thanks. Uh, Greenlee here tells me that uh, she's bored out of her mind. Well, there's a game room, and uh, there's a... A sun porch that I'm sure is very pleasant. Yeah, but and, see, the uh, catch is she's not supposed to move about unassisted. 
Well, we'll get a volunteer to come in with, with the library card. Uh, I would rather stare at the ceiling than read one of your autobiographies. And please. the other catch is that Greenlee rarely does what she is told. And I'm just afraid that left to her own devices, she could get in some big trouble. So I was wondering if you would be so kind as to uh, keep her company. You want Erica to guard me? Actually, I was thinking more of maybe spending some quality time with you. Will you do that for me? E of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Greenlee, you, uh, you try to get some rest, and you just make sure if you need to go anywhere that Erica's here to help you. Now, you know, I don't need her to help me at all. I want you to promise me this. Promise? That's my girl. Thank you very much. You ladies, have a good time. Uh, some TV. I'd be happy to turn it on Thanks. for you. Are you thirsty? Nope. Just in case. You hate this, don't you? I hope there's not too much ice. Having to be nice to me, I mean. <clears throat> Look, why don't I go down to the cafeteria and get you a nice bowl of tapioca? Tapioca? That proves it. You want to kill me so you can get out of here. I am trying to make you comfortable. That's why you're hyperventilating? Look. Neither one of us is thrilled with this arrangement, so why don't we just try to make the best of it? Okay. You still in love with my father? That's between Jackson and me. It must be. I mean, the only reason you're here is to score some brownie points. A few hundred more and what? The wedding's back on? Aren't you supposed to rest? Why don't I fluff up your pillows? So you can smother me and claim it was an accident? Okay, look. If you want anything... Just ask me. Don't hurt yourself. What is it? What would you like? I, I will get it for you. That's what I'm here for. Not this. Oh, don't you dare do that to me, Greenlee. Erica, all I want is to... To make me look bad, right? Mm. You refuse every little offer of kindness I, I, I give you, everything I, I want to do for you. Why? So you could tell Jack that I ignored you? If you lift a pinky, you're going to do the martyr bit about how exhausting I was to babysit. I'm not going to let that happen. No. <laughs> Great. I really needed that thingy. Well, whatever thingy you need, I'll get it for you. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom. No problem. Nurse? Nurse? Where is everybody? They're understaffed, budget cuts, and just really can't wait. Cold blue! It's always the bedpan. No way. Look, are you sure you can't hold it? I'm sure. I guess the question is, how much do you love my father? Oh, I guess that answers my question. You do love Jack. Uh, a lot. Just get back into bed. Uh, what's the matter, Erica? You look kind of flushed. If you dare tell anybody about this, including Jack, I'm going to have to kill you. Tell anyone I'd rather die than remember it even happened. I would love to oblige you. 